definitely there is an increasing push by the Western countries as well as organizations to promote LGBTQ in African countries like Kenya. And this was clear during the visit of the former president of USA, Barack Obama, in 2015. When he openly came to Kenya and pushed the case for homosexuality rights. But former president Uhuru Kenyatta told him on his face, that we will not sacrifice our inherent religious and traditional value. It was open. Lord Yuweri Museveni for taking a stand against homosexuality. We Lord President Samia Suluhu for taking a stand against homosexuality. In the West, the agenda has succeeded. And the focus now is on Africa and other third world states. The impact of homosexuality can clearly be seen in the West, where the family unit is broken, where men and women remain unmarried, and there is also a population decline. In February this year, the Tanzanian government banned a popular children's book series Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I think you've seen it also here. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The Tanzanian government banned that book. Why? Because it was clear that the content of that book was promoting homosexuality among children. You need to be careful where you have subjects like sexual reproductivity. Those are the kind of terminologies that are actually used in these schools.